All right, hey everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a tri-fold brochure here inside of Google Drive. And you can see the one that I made here for my website, mrteacherkevin.com. And we have a nice little shape with some varying colors. Another shape right there. We have some nice word art, insert a picture of myself, the border, another page right there. And then I added a picture from the internet and then even included a shape that has effects that we can't do natively in Google Drive, but we'll learn how to do that, like this gradient here and this drop shadow. And then I kind of ran out of things to do, so I didn't finish it. But you, with your wondrous amounts of idea, will surely have something to fill up your entire brochure. So let's go about and see how we can do this. I'm gonna go back to my drive. I'm just gonna make a new Google Doc. And the first thing I always want to do is name it. So I don't have a bunch of untitled documents. So that one is brochure. So I will call that brochure number two. And right now it's in landscape mode or it's in portrait mode and I don't want that. So if I go to file page setup, I can switch it over to landscape and I want to change my margins too. So I could have a bit more room to work with on the page. So I'll switch that to 0.5. 0.5 and I'll switch these to 0.2. Cool. And you can see how that changes. Now there's no way of making columns in Google Docs. So the best way that we can simulate that is just inserting a table. So we can insert table and just do a three column, one row table, and then just stretch it out. There, go down there in order to meet my needs. There we go, let me stretch it out this way. There we go. And I know this doesn't look like much right now, but we will make this more attractive as time goes on. I'm just gonna make that, that. Cool. All right. So you can see in this one, I don't have any borders there and I just have colors. This is something that like it, I'm not really sure exactly how to advise you on it. It looks good with the colors when it's printed out, but it does make it more difficult to fold up. So I will put colors here, but you might just want to leave it white and then change the borders white at the end. Uh, that's really up to you. And it'd be much easier to fold when you actually print it out but I will put some colors in here. And if I just go to my different cells, I need to control click or right click and change the cell background to there. Control click, table properties. I'll actually that will turn into a nice pale yellow. And then this one will be blue. Like that, cool. And I also want to change the lines on it here. So it's not like black lines. So if I go to control click and go back to table properties, I could change the borders right here. I want to change that to white. And you can see here, I have these little borders in between it. It kind of gives it a little space, makes it a bit easier to fold if you are doing colors. If you are just keeping it white in the background, you could ignore this part, but I want to change to six points uh, of a border. So it will give me a little space. And then I have that like that. Perfect. Give a little more space. And one more thing I want to do is I have the front of my brochure, but I do not have the, uh, the back. So I'm just going to copy that, and then paste it. Gotta stretch it out a little more. that and when you print out a real brochure like it's not going to go first second third fourth fifth page when you fold it up it's going to be a little bit different that's why this is the front and this is the back then this is the second third fourth and fifth page so i'm just going to label these to make it easier so this is the front this is the back this is the fifth page that is the second page third page and fourth page and now that we have set everything up, we are ready to get started. And the vast majority of things that we are going to do 
in this brochure is going to be controlled by the shapes, or sorry, by the drawings. We are going to use Google's little drawing feature here to put in a lot of stuff there. So I'm just going to go to insert and you'll see this little palette right here. And we have this checkerboard transparent background that anything we put over will be transparent. So for the first one, I am just going to make a little shape. I have a little rounded edge. Boom. And you can see that right there. And if I start typing, it will just go right there. And like that doesn't look very good, right? So if I just go to more, I could click on the centered one and I could highlight it, I can make that bigger. That's a little too big, let's try 30. No. More. 30, that's better. And I'll switch it from Arial to Verdana and it makes it even bigger. So let's switch it down to 24 again, cool. And if I want to change the color, I could just go here and you have your, you can go right here and change the text or the highlight. So I will make that red. I will make that yellow. I will make that darker blue and I will make this green. And that looks pretty good to me. The yellow's a little bright, but that's all right. If I go to save and close, it put it down on the second half and that's not what I want. So if I click here, you can see this little break text thing right here. Inline will display it, right? Like if there's text there, it'll push it down. Um, wrap text will do something similar, but we just wanna do break text and that means we could put it anywhere. So if we do breaks text and just turn off the margin, we're so gonna be able to put it anywhere and just now if we, drag it up around here. We will be able to put this anywhere we want. So that looks good right there. And I can delete that. And now say I want to make a change. Say I want a different something with a the border there. I could just click on it, do edit. And there it is. And I can click on my shape and say I want to change it from black to like a dark blue be the border there. And I can see that dark blue and save it and it will make that change. Perfect. So the vast majority of things you are going to use shape, but you could also just randomly write in there too. So if I go down here and I center it and I could change the type of text I want, what did I have there? We're in a whole bunch of stuff. We're in a whole bunch of stuff, like good words to use when you're describing things. And you can see here, like I have some more text there and it's not like I can't just put that in the shape, but that would be weird to format just writing text. So how can we do that? I'm going to go back here, go down and I'm going to insert another drawing. And I encourage you to experiment with these drawings as much as you can. They are the real backbones behind this brochure. So that one was an arrow and it was like that. And I want to change the fill color of it. So like that and black works well. And now if I just wanna add some text to a different spot, I could do my text box right there and I could keep on reading for more info. And just like before, if I wanna change things about the text, I could highlight it, just click on more. And if I wanna change like for Donna, and I'll keep that black and yeah, it looks good. Now if I save it in there, I want to break the text again with no margin and I can put that anywhere. And if I want to change the size of it, obviously I can go like that. Cool. And I have the first part of, or I have the first page of my brochure. Now let's go to the back. What did I have here? I had this word art here, which this has a different color and, but it also has an outline as well. So let's see how we can do that. So again, I am going to insert a drawing. And I want to put in some word art and just type whatever you want. So what did I put there? About me. And just enter and it will be there. And this kind of turns it into an image. So just like before, if you wanted to change the fill color or the outline, you can. If you want to change the size, 
you can just pick the size that you want. And so I want to change the fill color to red. And I like that black outline, but it's a little thin. I want it a little thicker. You could change the type of line right here, which you can make it dashes, which wouldn't make a lot of sense for us. But you could also change the weight of the line. So let's try it with three pixels. That looks pretty cool. I like that. So I'm going to go save and close. It's there and break text, no margin. And now you can put it there. And so now if I want to put in a picture, I have a couple different options. I could just go to insert image and it gives you the options to upload a picture from your desktop or from your computer, take a snapshot of yourself and you need to allow that. And that's me right there with unkempt hair. And you can do a URL, different albums, Google Drive, or you can just search the internet. So this is one way of doing it. It's a pretty simple way of choosing how to do it. You could also insert a drawing. And then that way you could like add effects to it too. Or you could add different changes to it. So now if you go here and wait, oh, there we go. Insert image. And I wanted to take a snapshot. Allow. And you could choose different ones like that. All right. And I like this one the best. So now if I go to like that, whoa, it's really big, but I can make it smaller. And so you have your picture like that. And if you wanted to like make effects on it, like if you wanted to, I want to scribble on myself. I could, ah, but that would be really silly to do. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to do save and close. And again, you could just insert picture if you want to too. That's one way of doing it. I'm going to break text, no margin. Cool. And I could also edit the picture. Like there's no border on it. You can see the one I have here. That's much better lighted and looks more attractive. Um, I am going to click on it and you can go edit. Oh, then you have to edit inside of here. And how do you do this? Da, 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 da. Image options. And you have the option to change like the transparency of it, which wouldn't make much sense. Change the brightness. You also just reset the adjustments. Uh, you can change your colors on it. But I don't want that. Or you can click on it, line color, and change it like that too. So let's go with like a dark green one. I think that would be good. That's not thick enough though. So I want to change it like that. Boom. That's still not thick enough. There we go. I like that. Okay. Now you can see I have that right there. All right. So you want to delete that. And if you want to put a picture from the internet, let's, I just have another thing right there. It's really not worth going over. If you learned how to do this other stuff, you could do that page right there. If you want to get a picture from the internet, you just need to insert image, allow, wait, no. just go to search. And if I, awesome, fun time. Uh, I don't want to be like that guy. Let's see, I'll do this right here, select. And now I have inserted a picture from the internet. Break text, no margin, boom, boom, boom. Put that down there. You can also like, uh, just like I did before, if you want to draw on it or add different text to it, you can insert your picture from the internet just by doing it in shapes too. And the final thing I am going to do is I am going to put in this shape right here. Like this has a gradient, this has a drop shadow. And really like you can't do that in drawing here in Google Docs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to Pixlr Editor which is a free web-based graphics editing program. It's similar to Photoshop. You can use Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you happen to like to use. And I just wanna make a new image. I'll title this brochure. And I need to make sure it's transparent. That's really important. And now if I go down into my shapes, I could pick whatever type of shape I want. Boom, that's a black one. But if I were to, let's do a gradient actually. If I were to use this magic wand tool, select it, 
and then pick a gradient to do. I could pick one of these and like that. I don't want that red one. I'll change the color. Go like that. And I just choose that gradient and I just highlight it. Boom, it's like that. And if I were to deselect this and then go to layer styles, let's see what can it look like? Ooh, a bevel. I like bevels. Bevel and any outer glow. Yeah, I suppose that works too. Inner glow. All right. Just click like that. So now I have a shape, and you could really go nuts with this. You can make any type of thing that you want, insert any picture, edit it how you want. And you just need to go to save and you need to save it. You can see like this white background it doesn't have that transparent checkerboard anymore. So if you just go to PNG, then that will save that there. So if I go to okay and I save it wherever, that's my desktop. And now if I go to, oh, I don't wanna do that. Insert image, upload it, and then choose the image to upload from there. Boom, boom, boom. You could see you have like that, and you're gonna to want to crop that. You can see all this stuff right here. Actually, inserting it like that's probably not the best way. The best way would be to insert a drawing and insert that image. You could do it the other way, but I think this is actually better because you could have you have more flexibility when you're editing it. And right, you can see I have all this surrounding space. So I need to drill click and I wanna crop my image and just crop it down to where I want it. Put that there. And then now if I put a text box inside of it, boom. Look at my great website. Okay, and you could Move that around till you want. Boom, boom, boom. And now if I save and close, that looks a lot better. Cool. And break text, no margin. And er. See how you have that cool custom shape anywhere you want. Uh, I'm not gonna continue on to make this brochure, but I think that is a good overview of how you wanna make a brochure of yours. And again, like these colors, you might wanna, when you're printing it out, you might wanna reconsider if you have colors, A, because it's a bit more difficult to fold and also the people that control your printer might get angry at you if you're constantly printing things out with tons of color on them, but to each their own and you can choose how you want to do that. When you are ready to print, I think it is best to just go and then save it as a PDF. So it's difficult to get printed out correctly through Google Docs. So I save this as a PDF and then, oops. And then if I open my, oops, that's not what I wanted. And where'd that go? There. Where did I save that to? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh, that was in documents. All right, I wanna save that there. And now, if you open that up, you could just, you could just do file, print. And I don't have a printer set up to my home computer there, but you are going to want to make sure that A, you print it on both sides and B, it is flipped. So you don't get the second one upside down, but however your printer works, you can do that. And that is how you make your own brochure here on Google Drive. So I hope that was helpful and have a good one later.